Hey guys, I'm back! So today I wanted to do a dorm room tour because my roommate's not in here so I am here by myself in the room and yeah, I had been wanting to do this for a while and I was going to clean my room but I was like, no, this is real life and this is how messy your room is 24-7 so I clean it and also it's not messy, it's an organized mess in my brain but yeah, uh, this is my last year living in the dorms. My freshman and sophomore year, I lived in Whitest Court Dormitory, which is this dormitory. I really, really love this dormitory. It is my favorite dormitory. It is one of the best. Bigger rooms, double door closets. It's composed of six little buildings with a courtyard in the middle, and it's really cute, very homey feeling. However, I have been hearing, I have a few RA friends, and some of them are saying that they're knocking down this one and Creekside Dormitory. I don't know if they will rebuild them, if they are knocking them down, if they're going to build a new dormitory. But I have heard that they are knocking them down. So if you are coming to UT and you're thinking about living here or if this is one of your options, I would say take it. It is great. I love it here. Very quiet near the west side of campus and I love it. So yeah. Um, next year I'm going to be living in an apartment with Vanessa, Alexa, and Mariah. So let's get started with this dorm room tour. Okay, so if you just walk in through the door, you will see my side of the room. So here is a quick little pan of my room. It is very messy and has a lot going on, but that is exactly my life. And I also wanted to give this tour just so you can see a little bit more in depth of what I actually bring with me to college, which is actually a lot of stuff and you do not have to bring this much stuff. So starting with up here, I have my little Kanye poster that Andrew gave me for Christmas last year. And then I have a bunch of pictures of my family and friends. And then I have my dream catchers that I get at the rodeo every single year. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven years I have been getting them every single year. Here is my bed in its messy glory. I actually never make my bed. Um, I don't ever sleep on my like under my comforter. I always sleep on top of it with this blanket that I got when I was 15. On the side of my bed, I have this little bedside caddy and it just holds like the remote and then my glasses. So I take them off before I go to sleep and I got this at Target last summer for about like $5, I think. On this side, so quickly, the room comes with this um, two-sided shelf, this one-sided shelf, three-drawer drawer, a desk and a chair, and then the fridge and the microwave. So on top of this um, shelf, me and my roommate share it, and it has our TV, and then this little alarm clock that our high school counselor gave us, and it's actually really cute. It says, wake up. It says, wake up, get up, and go. I couldn't read it through my camera. But yeah, so under here, I have like all of my food. You know, ramen is a college student's best friend. I actually love ramen. I've always loved ramen. And I have like a bunch of other just like quick snacks. And then I have this extension cord which, with an on and off switch because we are required to have on and off switches on them because of fire safety hazards. And they do come in and check. And then, ow, my knee hurted. Okay. Um, and then here I have a box that I have been hoarding because I'm gonna use it for packing. Um, I have my printer. And then back here, I have extra printer paper and white paper because I actually take my notes on white paper. I do not like notebooks whatsoever. That is more school stuff. That's an open pack of white paper, as you can see up here. You will learn to use every nook and cranny of space you can get because dorm rooms are small. So I love baking and I have a bunch of like different baking trays and cookie trays in here because we do have a kitchen. Um, it's a two story building. So every building has a kitchen. It's only like 40 people. So like you can use it whenever and it's great. Some Ziploc containers, ice cube trays, um, little triangle sponges cotton balls, some plates, and then up here I keep all of like my extra stuff. So I have extra ink, 
some heating pads, extra lotion, alcohol, nail polish remover, more Clorox wipes, and then just extras of like deodorant, shampoo, conditioner. I have all of my um, clothes, soap, I forgot, laundry detergent. There you go. have all of my laundry detergent and then like first aid kit. And then that has like a bunch of like extra little bags for like traveling and then some more Clorox wipes and whatnot. And then inside of this three drawer thing, I have like just towels drying from washing dishes. And in the bottom drawer, I have all of my dishes. So plates, cups, bowls, and measuring spoons, more tea towels, tons of these cups. In college, you get tons of free stuff. And most of the time, it's a lot of cups. And I don't really use all of them. I have like one cup that I use because it has a Brita filter and I love it. On this second drawer, I have all of like my toiletry. So I have some medicine if we get sick, a bunch of like travel size mascaras and I mean travel size face washes and face masks and um, face mask sheets and floss, q-tips, wipes, nail polish, contacts, pads and panty liners and Advil and coconut oil, lotion, nair, makeup remover, hair stuff, more nair, you know, all of your basics. And then on this third drawer, it does have a little thing for you to put a lock on and keep your valuables, but you know, I don't have valuables. So in here, I just keep all of my school stuff. So I have tons of like my hard drive and the little phone backup battery, a little Mickey Mouse tripod and a bunch of other like cables and stuff on my computer. I have some books for classes and leisure reading and then more books. These are actually all of my Mother's Day cards. I have newspaper to defrost the fridge, um, more paper and then all of my folders for every class and all of my class stuff is in here and then over here on my desk I sit on this pillow because you know chairs get uncomfortable um I have a little trash can under there some candles here inside my desk I just have like calculator colored pencils all of your basic like office supplies tons of highlighters and extra pencils and notepads and light out and all of that good stuff i have since my class has already ended and i finished with finals i have been leisure reading so this book is called we were liars vanessa told me to get it and it's actually quite good i'm halfway done with it Ooh, my light was sliding off so yeah that is my laptop in my book and then i have another extension cord all of my makeup is in here i have all of my cups with my brushes. All of my cups are super cute. That's a Tinkerbell cup, frozen cup. This is a Day of the Dead, and this is just a cute little cup, a little makeup cup. Shout out to Cassie for getting me that. Um, lotion, other toiletries, some mirrors. If you're looking for a lamp for your desk, I can recommend this. It was $5 at Walmart. It's just like an LED lamp, has a little on, off switch. It's a great light. It gives off white light. It's amazing love it. I have like three of them. I have all of my saints and stuff. Here's another free cup that I just didn't bother to put in that drawer. I have my Brita filter cup. I really, really recommend this. And yeah, you just change out the filter every few months. My brushes, notepad. You can tell I drink a lot of soda. Down here, this little thing comes out and I have all of like the channels for the TV and then my class schedule for the semester. In here, it's just kind of like a drunk a junk drawer. I have this little um, office thing and it just has like all of my highlighters and stuff that I can keep at hand. All of my birthday letters, some more candles, playing cards, my Polaroid, haul, slip roller. I just have a ton of stuff in here. Um, down here I keep like, I always keep my bath bag on this same spot and this bag joined it yesterday because I haven't touched my bath bag since class ended. But I have an umbrella this has all of my curling iron straighteners, um, tissue, I have an illegal toaster, and then a little blender back here. And then here is the fridge and the microwave. And then I got this little pencil cup and I just keep like forks and spoons and whatnot in here. We have a big Brita filter. And then here is my board. I absolutely love my board. I actually, you can tell, I gave up on life October 11th. 
of last semester. I just, you know, completely gave up on my calendar. Um, here are a bunch of drawings that my nieces and nephews have given me. Oh, actually, this is um, Alexa's Valentine's Day card for me. It's really funny. And I have like a bunch of Polaroids. That one. Ooh, can this focus? Oh, yes, that's me and Alexa, me and Cassie, some notes from the Posse Retreat, some notes from ULN, my door tag from last time, like funny quotes me and Vanessa say, more Polaroids, like there's Ginny, New Year's Eve, Cassie, my parents, Virginia, my neighbor, this is from Disney Club, this is also from Disney Club, Toga Party. Vanessa drew me this, my little mentee Victoria, Andrew giving me my Christmas gifts, Virginia, oh this is another thing for Disney Club Texas, this is so cute. Oh, this little list that none of my friends followed. That's not how friendship works guys, that is not how friendship works. Um, your awesome great places today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. A little dream catcher my mom gave me, um, this is from Vanessa's first, uh, dance recital thing, Alexa, Armando, oh Justin drew me this, he's such a great drawer. And yeah, I just have a bunch of like cute little stuff. And then under here I have an extra whiteboard and we were taking pictures yesterday, hence the high school sweethearts. That was for one of Armando and Gutting's pictures. Soda, my black backpack that I love. And then here in Austin, everyone uses recycling bags, so there are my recycling bags for grocery shopping. And then here is my double door closet. I just hang my towel to dry it. It has some of my hats. Here am I with my little ring light. And actually this opens up and I keep, let me see if I can open it. Ooh, my ring light keeps falling off. Yeah, I can't open it with one hand. I'm sorry guys. Anywho, this contains all of my jewelry in there. When we open my closet, I have way too much clothes, so. Starting off at the top, I have a picnic blanket, some backpacks, and like a duffel bag. I have a backup lamp, and then here's another lamp, and then that's like, that yellow box has my face paints and whatnot. I have Snuggies and extra blankets and towels for when people come over. I have all of my dresses and stuff, all of my sweaters and clothes. I have my like shoes that I wear every day up here, and then they're also scattered on the floor. I have my shower caddy and my flip-flops and then a little towel under it to get up any water. I have more shoes, toothbrush, toothpaste, shoe boxes, yoga mat, tripod, bubble umbrella. This little thing I got from Walmart, I think it was like 20 bucks, and it has like all of my underwear, t-shirts, jeans, and sports bras, and then I have these like little one thing containers and this has like pajamas and the one back there just has a bunch of leggings um my dirty clothes that bag is just full of socks and then over here i just have some command hooks with some belts and then just some purses and then another purse down there and yeah that is basically everything that is in my dorm so i hope you guys liked that quick little video of my dorm room and you can see everything that i truly bring with me to my dorm and i'm actually really scared for next year since i'm going to be living in an apartment and i'm going to have more space because i'm going to have a whole room to myself i feel like i'm going to go overboard and try to bring a t bunch of stuff but i'm going to try to really like control myself and only bring what i need so we'll see how that works but yeah, see you guys next time.